I'm a sad banana. A very sad banana. You don't need to be sad anymore. Ever since he left. Oh man, I feel horrible. <laughs> I feel so bad. Hey guys, it's me, GSD Boxer, and I'm here to bring you a game called After Story. This is a game that was created for the GMC Jam 2016 Game Jam. It's an Undertale-inspired game. So, we've just died and woken up in a strange limbo populated by lots of odd-looking monsters. A human called Alexander is there to greet us, though we don't learn a great deal about what happened. Why are we here? Or who any of these strange creatures are? Sounds good to me. Let's, let's just get right into it. I'm gonna press X now. X to play. It's looking good so far. Welcome to the afterlife. You must be new here. I'm Taiba. But call me Tai. Your eyes. You've been crying for a while, huh? Try to lighten up, buddy. It's not that bad here. The spirits are quite an interesting bunch, you know. I see. You want to go back, don't you? I understand. Everyone here has loved ones they miss. And loved ones who miss them. You must feel the same. I once thought... I once wanted to leave too. I felt like I was sent here too early. That there was so much left unfinished back in that world. Me? You? Everyone here? We're all the same. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm terrible at consoling people. Why don't you try getting to know some of the spirits here? I'd show you around myself, but I can't stay for much longer. We'll see each other soon. It was nice meeting you. Farewell. Oh, goodbye. This... Okay, so this is looking real good so far. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go both paths. I already see a ghost doggo here. Uh, I gotta talk to the ghost doggo first. Is there any... Let me see here. I need to check something. I guess it's just X. Simple controls. It's not that big of a game. Don't go there. That's not where the dog's talking end is. Hey, doggo. I'm a dog! Are you a dog? Uh, no. I bet you wish you were. I'm a dog. Are you a dog? Yeah! Silly humans. Humans aren't dogs! Okay, well, thanks for crushing my dreams of dogdom. I'll just continue on my way. I see something here. What is this? Is this a person? There's a thang here. It seems to be a torn out page of a diary. There seem to be some special spirits here. I met a large turtle spirit called Capad. He told me he was over 1,000 years old. There was something different about him, though. While most spirits are merely a faint silhouette, Capad had retained his full physical appearance. Just like me. Maybe he was a strong spirit too. Okay. Wow, this game looks... The walking animation is really clean, man. I'm liking the the cherry blossoms falling. Cat! Meow. Hi! I'm Curious. Curious the cat. You look strangely familiar. Uh, Asylum Jam 2015? Under... Ripoff. Huh. What does that mean? An Undertale ripoff? You got something stuck in the eye! Oh, the, even the particles, like the cherry blossoms are just like... Landing and disappearing so... That's nice, that's a nice ch touch. Touch? Snail? I heard that if you're filled with spirit, you'll be able to pass through the barrier to the north. No one's ever been able to pass through it though. I wonder what's on the other side. What? Hey, no! Let's uh, leave you alone. I'm not going to do that yet. Some Princess Mononoke-esque-ness over here. A human spirit? We haven't had a human spirit since Alexander. Huh? Who's Alexander? Once upon a time, he was like an elder to us. He gave us guidance and brought life and energy to this gloomy place. But then one day, he just disappeared. We haven't seen him since. I'm not gonna kill anybody just yet. We're supposed to he help them? Hello. Flowers, flowers, flowers! Flowers everywhere. 
Even the simplest things can make you smile. For me? They're flowers. What about you? Kill it. It's too heavy. No, don't kill it just yet. I see a little thing poking over here. Alexander's diary. I appear to have arrived in the afterlife. I seem to be the only human here so far. Everyone else here, they're all monsters. They can't hurt me, right? This is the afterlife, after all. Yeah, let's keep reading. Despite their physical appearances, these creatures seem to be friendly. There was a giant turtle guy called Capad who had a really funny laugh and a really curious cat. I even talked to a banana today! This place is so strange. Either way, they seem harmless for now. Yeah, keep reading. Today, one of the spirits told me about a barrier to the north. Apparently, no one has been able to cross it. I watched as some spirits tried to pass through it. They just evaporated into nothing when they tried. It seems unsafe, so I should probably avoid it for now. Nothing else? Okay, there's nothing else. We should look for other diary... Z Can I keep... Oh, there's... Oh! Gold brick! And that looks painful. What happens? Oh, it's not painful. I can do whatever I want. I'm dead. Hey! I... Uh, yeah, let's talk to them. I'll look around in the other area first. Purr. Oh, hello there. You're so tiny, I could hardly see you. Oh, a human spirit! Well, nice to meet you. I'm Mira. Those eyes. There's a longing in them. A longing to go somewhere. I guess that makes two of us. No one here wanted to be here, but we're, we've learned to live together. All of us here have someone we miss dearly. Someone we would do anything for. Uh, what am I saying? I've rambled on for too long. I heard human spirits are very strong. If that is so, I'd like to ask you a favor. That brooch over there, it belonged to him. But the other day a magpie spirit flew in here and took it away. And the ground around it is far too rugged for my delicate paws. I don't mean to be a burden, but would you be able to get it for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do this. It's not really hurting me. I got shoes on. Took it. Gave it. You brought my brooch back for me. Give it back. I'm a nice person. What's up? Thank you, human. I'll leave you alone with the brooch for now. Wait, we, we gotta take a look and see if there's any hidden pages. I don't think there's any hidden pages around here. They kind of stick out a little more, but... Just in case. Okay, well, let's keep going around and helping all these dead peeps. I read that already. What? Oh, it's the banana! Hey, why are you so glum, chum? Can I talk to you? What? There we go. I'm a sad banana. A very sad banana. Ever since he left, I've been a very sad banana. I guess it was Alexander. That's to the north. Would that? Oh, you can't be serious. Totoro? <laughs> we don't have much here, but we're happy. You should be happy with me too. <laughs> I'll leave you alone for now. We don't know much. We don't know much about what's going on around here. Let's go through here. Capad? Is that you? Why is it so shitty around here? Wait. Secret? No. No. No secrets. Okay. Hey, Cap. What's up? <laughs> oh, a human child. I haven't seen a human in hundreds of years. Nice to meet you. I'm Capon. Oh, I thought... Okay. I may not look it, but I'm actually hundreds of years old. Which means I'm very, very wise. <laughs> I heard that the rain goes away more quickly when you're waiting with someone else. Another human spirit once told me that. Care to wait with me, human? I'll wait. I'll help you out. I used to hate the rain. The loud echoes of the rain pounding on my shell would terrify me. But my father showed me that if you listen carefully, the rain is just part of nature's music. 
This is my father's shroombrella. Shroombrella. He used to bring me out to the rain with him, just to listen to the raindrops. He told me I should share it with others so they can enjoy the rain too. And that, after rain, comes beautiful sun. Perfect for my old skin. <laughs> That's how the turtles laugh, if you didn't know. Sometimes, it's nice to just stop and appreciate what we have. Sunny days would be so great without rainy ones. Don't you think? Oh! The rain stopped. Thank you for waiting with me, human. I guess the rain really does go away faster when you wait with somebody. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having too much fun with that. Thanks for waiting with me, human. You can stand under my shroom umbrella any day. I'll leave for now. Okay, we helped you out. I don't think there's- oh, there's another one here. Didn't see this. Seems to be a torn page out of a diary. I did it! I figured out how to leave. The barrier to the north seems to only prevent those who have weak spirits from leaving. Which means all I have to do is become a powerful spirit. It seems human spirits like me have far stronger spirits than creatures. I was able to siphon the spirit out of one today. I wonder if it harms them though. It disappears afterward. Surely not. This is the afterlife after all. Continue. I am now almost powerful enough to pass through the barrier. My family. I'll be able to see them soon. I was able to become so strong because of them. Surely they'd be happy for me, right? I just can't get this horrible feeling out of me. I didn't really hurt anyone. Did I? Surely they would have done the same to me if they could. But why? Why did they all seem so contented being here? Have they just accepted that they'll be here forever? What about their families? Don't they want to go back? Maybe it was for the best. It's so quiet now. Why do I feel so lonely? Sure, they were my friends once upon a time, but... I can't stay here forever. No! There's no turning back now. Tomorrow I'll finally be able to leave. Yeah, keep reading. This is some juicy stuff. It's time. I finally siphoned the spirit of every creature here. I can feel the spirit rushing through me. I can finally go back. I can... I... What have I done? I used them. This whole time, I was only thinking of myself. I was so caught up with my finding a way out. I forgot about all the bonds I made with everyone here. Capad, Mira, Oria, everyone. I'm so sorry. I'm so selfish. My time in that world ended when I arrived here. I can't take back what I've done, but I can make sure it never happens again. Soon new spirits will be arriving here, but I can't face them, knowing what I've done. This will be my last diary entry. I've decided I will devote the rest of my life. I've decided I will devote the rest of my afterlife to guarding the barrier. If someone. And if somehow anyone finds this, if somehow a human finds this, please show some restraint, Alexander. Hey, I've been a pretty nice dude so far. Hey, I shouldn't be able to do this. Definitely, definitely, definitely should not be able to do this. 2015 under Riffoff. I can't kill you. You don't even give me the the cue to kill you. I can kill all y'all though. Just wait. Nah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna be peaceful. I'm gonna be peaceful for now. Looks like I can go through there. Can I? Oh! Oh! Secret! I did it! No. It's not a secret. Okay, we're back on track. Make my way up here. And talk to Alexander, because I want to know what's going on in this joint. I would like to know why I'm dead in the first place. Nobody's really specified how they got offed. I don't trust this guy either. Of course he would kill all the spirits. Look at that smirk. It's an evil smirk. So, you finally come. This barrier, he was never meant to let anyone through. But the spirits of humans are strong. Hope, determination, perseverance. They make us strong. 
determination. But so too do regret, anger, and resentment. No matter the obstacle, we will always overcome it. This is the potential of the human spirit. You and I, we both have the power to siphon the spirit of weaker creature spirits to strengthen our own. There is something special about human spirits. Our will, our perseverance, our determination. My resolution to go back made, made it easy for me to overpower the spirits I had befriended. One by one, I siphoned the spirit from all the creature spirits. Before long, I had finally obtained enough power to pass through this barrier behind me. But the feeling of guilt, the disgusting selfishness I displayed, I didn't deserve to go back. I couldn't possibly face my family after knowing what I had done here. I thought because they were mere creatures that it would be okay to use them. But I knew each one of them had their own hopes and dreams. That even though they seemed so happy here, they too had families and loved ones they wanted to see again. So I decided to stay to protect the barrier from spirits who might share the dangerous feelings I once harbored. You might have been that spirit, but it seems I have nothing to worry about. Even with the power you have, you showed restraint. That's what they say about me, GSD. Restraint. I, th that's not what they say. Even when you yearned to return, you showed patience. And when the spirits needed you most, you showed selfish selflessness. Damn. While I cannot return the spirits I absorbed, I can use my power to break this barrier. But I've lived long enough. In life and in afterlife. Even now, you still wish to leave, don't you? I understand. If you still wish to leave, I will grant your wish. Well, you didn't give me any other choice, so I'm gonna leave. We did it. And now, let's see what happens. Oh. It's, it's just... Just game blackness. Okay. I'm alright with that. But, now. Okay. You guys have... You, you guys want to see some dark stuff, I guess. I don't... I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Let's get to work. Hello. Flowers, flowers, flowers! Flowers everywhere. Even the simplest things can make you smile. For me, they're flowers. What about you? I hate flowers. Give me your strength! Oh! I feel kind of bad, but I don't need to feel bad. I need to feel more power, more spirit power. Meow, meow, meow. What's up? Hey. Hi, I'm Curious the Cat. Curious the Cat. Meow. You look strangely familiar. Asylum Jam? 2015? Under t ripoff? Huh. What does that mean? I can't kill you. So at least you get to stay around for a little bit while you see the snail get offed. I heard that if you're filled with spirit, you'll be able to pass through to the barrier to the north. No one's ever been able to pass through it, though. I wonder what's on the other side. Uh, you don't need to wonder any longer. I'll find out for you. Delicious, delicious spirit juice. Doggo, I can't kill you. I can't. You, on the other hand, you're smiling a little too much. <laughs> you should be happy with me, too. <laughs> I'm very happy. So happy to take your spirit. Give it to me. You haven't seen him since. Oh, well, I'll let you join him. Delicious. Hey, banana. What's so... What's wrong, banana? What's wrong, man? I'm a sad banana. A very sad banana. You don't need to be sad anymore. Ever since he left... Oh, man. I feel horrible. <laughs> I feel so bad. All of us here have someone we miss dearly. Someone we would do anything for. Ah, oh, what am I saying? I've rambled on for too long. I heard human spirits are very strong. If that is so, I'd like to ask a favor of you. That brooch over there, it belonged to... him. But the other day, a magpie spirit flew in here and took it away. And the crown around it is so is far too rugged for my delicate paws. I don't mean to be a burden, but... 
Would you be able to get it for me? Sure! I'll get it for you. Hey, I'll take that. Here you go. You brought my brooch back for me? Here you go. Thank you, human. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's horrible! That's horrible. That's bad. Sometimes it's nice to just stop and appreciate what we have. Sunny days wouldn't be so great without rainy ones. Don't you think? Oh, the rain stopped. Thank you for waiting with me, human. I guess the rain really does go away faster when you wait with someone. Jeez! Thanks for waiting with me, human. You can stand under my shroombrilla any day. I won't! No oh, he frowned! Oh, I didn't realize they could- No! Wait, did something just pop up over there? I thought I saw something pop up over there. No. Doggo, you're okay. Cato, you're alright. Sluggo's dead. Butterfree's gone. Uh, the four spirits dead and the banana peels gone and slipped away. Now, Alexander, it's your turn. Mano y mano. No matter- Hey, I'm an evil person. I don't need to listen to what you're saying here. You understood what it took for you to leave, and yet you still did it. Why? Is it because you just want to see your family again? Perhaps you felt resentment of what happened in your past life. Or maybe this was all just a game to you and you did it. Just because you could. I- This is a game to me, and I did do it just because I could. Well, it's not like I'm in a position to lecture you. After all, I was once exactly like you. But I can't just sit idly by after what you've done. After knowing what you're going to do when you cross that barrier. <laughs> to think I honestly had high hopes for you, kiddo. I'm truly disappointed. Well, I guess you're sick of hearing me ramble. After all, you never really cared about anyone around you, did you? Goodbye. Well, I feel horrible now. Uh, hey, I can moonwalk. Oh! Oh, I can't moonwalk anymore. Anyway, thanks everybody. Thanks for joining me. It looks like they put a lot of work into this, and I really appreciate that. So, again, thank you everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back again with some more indie game goodness.